do backlinks help or hurt my website? All right. So, uh, backlinks, um, when other, when other websites link to your website, can that help you or hurt you? It all depends on the website that links to you. It also depends on the anchor text. Anchor text um, is, uh, so, so when you see something that says click here, right? And then the word here is blue and underlined and you actually put your cursor on the word here and click and that takes you to the website. The word here is the anchor text. So the way that SEO used to work, uh, like, I mean, like early, like, like 2005 to like 2000, actually probably even earlier than that. But the way SEO used to work is that you used to be able to build like 10,000 crappy links and use, uh, your main keyword as the anchor text. So you could build 10,000 crappy links that all your homepage that all have the anchor text of new Orleans personal injury lawyer. And you would rank number one for new Orleans personal injury lawyer. Um, and Google obviously doesn't want people manipulating their algorithm like that. So they cracked down and they came out with something called the penguin update. Um, and the penguin update basically looks at a lot of different things, including anchor text. So you have to be very, very careful about what the links, not only where the webs, not only which websites link to you, but you have to be very, very careful about what anchor text are they using when they link to you. Um, so if you use too much of a certain anchor text, that can definitely hurt your website. You can get a manual penalty. You can get an algorithmic penalty. Um, now the converse of that is that if you get a bunch of links and none of them have any sort of anchor text related to you, that also might, might not hurt you, but it might not help you as much as it should either, you know? So really, and, and getting into anchor text diversity and all that type of stuff is really a really, really advanced in-depth conversation. But um, <clears throat> so, I mean, but really, you know, you want to be careful of the websites that you're getting links from. Um, if they're local organizations, if they're legitimate businesses, different things like that, you probably won't have a problem. If you're getting into the link building and li link buying and different things like that, that's a little bit more of an advanced situation. And if you don't know what you're doing, you can definitely hurt yourself and, and hurt your, hurt your website. You know, yourself, you're not going to hurt yourself. You can definitely hurt your website. So, uh, buying links. It, it, so, so the answer is yes and no. Uh, they, 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 they can help and they can hurt. Um, if you focus on getting natural links, then, um, then, then you're, they're going to help you regardless. Now, don't take this as me saying you should never buy links. You should never do link building. You should never do anything like that. That's not the case. We do that all the time. Um, but what I'm saying is don't do it if you don't know what you're doing. And I don't think I can explain how to do it right now in this two minute video <laughs> or how, this two minute segment here. But I mean, for example, it's a lot of work when we have a client, uh, cause we have, you know, we have 50 clients that we do, uh, uh, search engine optimization for and all that type of stuff. And what we have to do is we have to look at the individual keyword that they want to rank for. So for example, what we'll look at is we'll say uh, Baltimore car accident lawyer, right? And then we will look at the first, um, we'll look at the first page of Google and we'll download the backlink profiles of every single website that is on the first page of Google. And we'll look at their links individually. We'll look at what types of links do they have. We'll look at where are their links coming from. We'll look at what is the percentage uh, or what are the ratios of their anchor text. Um, we'll look at all that type of stuff. And then based on that data, we then know what types of links to, to build for our client who wants to beat all of them. Um, and uh, it's a lot of work. Most SEO companies don't take the time to do this, but it's, it's important to do this because of the fact that Google is telling you exactly, I mean, Google's showing you exactly what they want to rank for a certain keyword. You know, I mean, just go, if you want to know what Google wants to see, uh, when it comes to ranking a specific website, just go search the keyword and look at the websites, you know? So, so that's what we do for our SEO clients. Um, you know, we actually do like in-depth research before we ever build a single backlink. And then based on that research, we know what we can do and what we can't do um, and what we need to do uh, in terms of backlinks. So uh, backlinks can definitely help you. They can definitely hurt you. Uh, you know, they, they, you shouldn't really build them unless you're just building naturally. If you're just building natural backlinks and accumul accumulating links, that's fine. Those will help you. Um, but if you're going out and, and intentionally building links and, and doing things like that, uh, you, you really should have some sort of expert helping you out.